Hey folks, I wanted to uh, record this video to go through a uh, problem type that a few of you have been asking me about. Uh, so we're finding the average velocity, and we're finding the average velocity that's really just another name for the average rate of change. And so the average rate of change, we're using our formula that we know, which is that it's f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. It's the same as the slope, right? Slope of the secant line. Uh, when we've got two points, we want to find the change in y divided by the change in x. So if we're looking at part a here, if we wanted to find the average rate of change over the interval from 1 to 5, then those are my two x values. The 1 is my a, and the 5 is my b. And so the average rate of change here would be f of 5, or in this case, s of 5, because the function is called s. So s of 5 minus s of 1 divided by 5 minus 1. And so what I would do is I would plug 5 into this formula, I would plug 1 into that formula, and divide by 5 minus 1. So whatever that number that works out to be, that would be my average rate of change for part A. The part that seems to be tripping people up is things that look like part D here. So that's the one I want to work through. So for part D, again, the two x values they give me are my A and my B. So the 1 here, that's A, and the 1 plus H, that's my B. So the average rate of change is going to be S of B, which is S of 1 plus H, minus s of a, which is s of 1, and then divided by b minus a. So I'm going to plug 1 plus h into my functions. That's negative 20 times 1 plus h squared plus 180 times 1 plus h. That's my s of 1 plus h. And then minus s of 1, that's going to be negative 20 times 1 squared plus 180 times 1. And then all divided by, well, 1 plus h minus 1 the 1 is going to cancel with the 1, and so I'm just going to have h on the bottom. Now, in order to simplify this, I've got to work this out. One of the things I've got to do is this 1 plus h, I've got to multiply that out. That means 1 plus h times 1 plus h. So on the top of my fraction, I'm going to have negative 20 times the quantity 1 plus 2h plus h squared. And then if I multiply out, I'm going to have plus 180 plus 180h. And then that second part in the parentheses, is just going to work out to be 160. So minus 160 there. And then all still divided by h. So I'm going to continue to simplify. I distribute my negative 20. So I get negative 20 minus 40h minus 20h squared plus 180 plus 180h minus 160. And again, still all divided by h. Now, negative 20 plus 180, that's positive 160. Minus 160 is going to be 0. So all that stuff cancels out. I can collect some like terms here. So on the top, I've got 140h minus 20h squared, all divided by h. And I can factor an h out of the top. So I've got 140 minus 20h, all divided by h. And now the h on the top and the h on the bottom divide out. And so I'm just left with 140 minus 20h. And again, I know I can divide out that h because I know that h is greater than 0. So I know I'm not dividing by 0. So that would be my simplified expression for a problem like this.